right, yo. What's good, YouTube? So I'm gonna be showing you guys basically like how to reverse Roblox and shit and like find offsets on your own. Stuff like that. Like, let's say there's like a dumper that doesn't have an offset you're looking for. Then, um, yeah, you can use. Yeah, you can just find an offset on your own, basically. Uh, so let's get into it, shall we? We're gonna be using Cheese Engine. Do you know about Cheese Engine? My like, Cheese Engine is actually mad tough, so. <coughs> Going to fucking studio. First, we're gonna find data model, right? Now, this is a well known method to get data model. Go to your humanoid, attach the blocks, search for your health. Nope. Search your health as a flow. You change your health. Next scan. Find out what access is this. This is your data model. No, this is your humanoid. Um, well, yeah, we'll just define as a structure. You see the way it already knows the name? That's because of RTTI. And basically, in Roblox, like the way the engine is, every like 50 hex. I don't even know why I just backed up the calc, but. Basically, there's a, every 50, like, from from the root. So, look, humanoid plus 50. It's a pointer to the parent. So, you know the way, like, look, so humanoid is a parent of this. It's a parent of workspace, right? So, that means this is a parent of model instance. Then we go again, where we get the workspace. And then we get the data model. See? And we have the pointer right here. So, we can just paste it. Boom. We have our data model. Alright. So how do we find offsets, right? So usually if you're trying to find offsets, maybe you look for like a Lua script. So like you can like base it off of that. So basically I, I have keybinds in my cheat, right? So like let's say you press E to enable like aimbot for example. But whenever you would type in chat and like write stuff, um the keybinds are toggle around, right? I didn't want that, and there's no like, you can find any public offsets that are like, is using chat or whatever, so I had to do it on my own. So basically what I did, I seen some Lua script, right? Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, I found it, um, look. So, this will enable some billboards saying, oh yeah, you're typing, but chat input bar configuration, yeah, property. So we're looking for this is focused properly as an offset, right? Let's see what our chat input bar config is. So that comes from text chat service, which is data model get service. So it would be in data models children, right? So we know children is 78, right? And then you just got to dereference it. And then if you look in here, we have all our fucking look, text chats. Oh, what? That's exactly what we're looking for, but text chat, material, tween, chat service, log service, workspace runs, GUI service. But yeah, just, we're looking for text chat service, right? Open this up, then we're looking for chat input bar, right? So we need this, children, this thing's text chat service is children. We're looking for chat input bar configuration. There it is. Open this up. Now we're looking for, like, right. So now we're looking for in here will be that like boolean offset. I don't know. It, it probably won't be a boolean because Roblox is just weird. But okay, let's look at our. What are we looking for again? Oh yeah, look at the chat for example. Text chat service. This right. Um. We look here, right? We see like text size 18, for example. See, we see 18 here, right? But let's let's say like so we're looking for is focused. Let's say like okay. So look, let's see if anything changes. Going in and out. 
You see that that changes, but that's not really like boolean value, is it? Like that's like random shit. So obviously, so it's not here. Cause you see the way it has a setup. It's four byte aligned by four bytes. So we'll get the pointer to this. We're going to cheat. And, oh, sorry. Uh, let's actually open this up. Right click, add to address list, memory view, memory, oh, not that. browse this memory region, okay. don't see anything changing, nice, how about in here? Add to address this. Browser's memory region. Oh, did you look at that? So we have two things changing. This, which I don't know, that's a pretty big hex number, 82. Then we have this, which goes from 0 to 1. So that's probably exactly what we're looking for now. But 0, 1. So like now I'm in the chat or whatever, when I'm out it's zero. So then, let's edit this. No, let's, where, where, how do I copy? No. Uh, go to address, yeah, perfect, here we go. So this is the our address for this, right? So, let's add this address. How did you just add it there? Cause what you call it? Um, just use the calc. Whack this on X. Put this in. Then take away this. 14E. Right. Let's go back into here. 14E, 14E. See, we don't have 14E because this shit's not aligned. Right. So, add element, offset 14E, 2 bytes, let's see, 14E, doesn't seem to be right, um, let's go back into the memory browser, browse memory region, okay I guess we're not browsing this memory region. Is that it? Okay. What else can we see here? Go to address. Is it the same address? Yeah, it is. Um, wait, let me see this. You take. Anyways, uh, this is really just trial and error. Okay, whack that in. Minus that. 156. Okay. Let's browse. 156. 156, 156. Here, right? Um, once again, it's not aligned. So we know if it's so we know it's gonna be two bytes since you know it's aligned by two bytes and offsets one five six. We have zero here. Did you look at that? So we found our offset. Our is chatting offset is zero x one five six. Yay. So did enjoy the video and um, leave a little like down. peace
Peace.